I'm Robert Bell, and we're here with WTA members, friends, and colleagues at the IBC 2014 show, looking at the vast changes taking place in the media and entertainment industry, and how those are going to shape the future for teleport operators worldwide. So it's true that in 2014, 4K is a hot topic and everybody is talking about it. As far as um, video, linear video distribution is concerned, we didn't see any short-term project so far. On the contrary, however, the contribution business, which is uh, very important to lead these new high quality standards, uh, like in HD as well. Um, so these big uh, events like the Olympics or the Social World Championship are really good events to enhance these new uh, standards. So in contribution, we believe that uh, this is going to be more used and promoted. In terms of geography, as far as we are concerned and really according to our customer base, we see a lot of potential in Western Europe and Asia more um, because of Globcast footprint today. Um, maybe there is a potential also in North America, but uh, we're not so, um, so strong over there. Uh, but definitely Western Europe and Asia are the main areas where we believe 4K distribution will rise. Wow. We have to bear in mind that 4K needs a lot of uh, bandwidth. So it may not be adapted to 4G or ADSL networks, even if there are improvements in this domain. So we believe that uh, the mobile devices will be indeed a 4K, um, will have a 4K usage, but maybe with a Wi-Fi connection or in a home environment. But in mobility, um, we believe that the network's restrictions may not allow to have uh, a good quality of experience on these um, devices. However, you're right that these smartphones and new generation of uh, tablets are really well done to consume UHD and 4K TV. Well, I think Globcast is well positioned to, to cope with all these changes because most of our business is permanent as well as contribution. So uh, we're also working in the OTT field, so the SVOD rise. Um, so I think that we have to, to keep going the way we're going by having the satellite, our core business on the permanent, growing and um, use contribution business to be innovative in 4K and to keep on going on OTT as well because that's a request from our customer because SVOD will be also a field where innovation uh, will happen. So I think it will depend on which the content providers, if they are broadcasters or if they are content distributors, and it will be a, a major difference. As far as the content distributors are concerned, um, most of the series or the movies or all this content is natively or easily uh, available in 4K with a cost that is minimum. So we believe that, and the revenue in front can be really increased. So the, the costs to convert in 4K or to have a 4K content on, on, the, um, on the content distribution and particularly in the SVOD business um, makes it um, for us, we believe, makes it uh, worth. On the, on the broadcaster side, it's not the same story because if you want to produce a new HD live event, um, all your production chain has to be UHD compatible, so from the ingest through production, post-production, and then the costs of all this production in UHD may not be enough. And on, on the revenue side, you may not increase your revenue as much as in SVOD world you would be able to do. And I think it was the case in HD as well. Broadcasters could not get more revenue on the advertising or on the pay on the subscriptions uh, just because their program was 
was HD rather than HSD. So I think it's the same story going on. And um, again, with the economic crisis, uh, at, at that time when we moved from SD to HD, um, it was better times. And today it's quite difficult for broadcasters even to reach HD for some of them. So to go um, in UHD it would be again more difficult. Well, we would like to be optimistic, uh, but we want to be realistic as well. Uh, we believe that there will be uh, more bandwidths required for UHD, but with the new codec technology like HEVC or uh, VP4, um, this will be less than the bandwidth expected. And also with the new modulation standards like uh, DVBS 2X, uh, this will um, may not have such an increase in bandwidth due to the introduction of these new technologies. Exactly like the DVBS2 for the HD um, didn't increase so much uh, the, the, the bandwidth required to, 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 to broadcast HD. So the two, the codex, as well as the new modulation standards, should there will be an increase, but not as, as big as expected by the satellite providers, for instance. We believe so, yes. We believe that um, 4K is really, 4K is the first step of U Ultra HD TV. And there are three other steps that are going to be taken. So the, the 4K is more pixel. We believe that the rest of the UHD norm will be even better. So it's, it's not more pixel, it's better pixel. Yeah, so, so UHD uh, TV consists of 4K, which is more pixels, but also of three other concepts that are very important for the quality of the, the, the user experience. The first one is a high frame rate, which consists of more image uh, per second, which gives you an, uh, um, um, a consistent, with a better fluidity in the, in the image. So it's important for, for the user watching the program. The second concept is the wide color gamut, which consists of improving the color rendering of, of the image, which is very important for, again, the user experience. And the last one is the uh, eye dynamic range, which consists of an improvement of the video contrasts uh, rendering. So we believe that 4K is promising and the three other, the three other um, improvements that UHD TV will bring uh, will um, enable a user experience that will be tremendous. So yes, we definitely believe in 4K.